Hi, my name is Michael, and welcome to today's lesson on how to set up a Backup Assist R-Sync client. This is the fourth of five lessons that will teach you how to set up a successful R-Sync backup. At the end of this lesson, your R-Sync client will be able to send data securely to your R-Sync server. If your R-Sync server has a firewall turned on, we need to create a rule or exception to allow incoming data from the client. So on our R-Sync server machine, go to Start, Control Panel, Windows Firewall. Select Advanced Settings. Right-click Inbound Rules. Select New Rule. Select Port. Click Next. For specific local ports, we'll use 22. Click Next, Next, Next. We'll call this rule SSH. Click Finish and close the window. Now, on our client machine, which should also have Backup Assist version 5.1.0 or later installed, we will set up our rsync client by creating a new backup job. Launch the Backup Assist console. Click Create a new backup job. Select rsync and Next. Select rsync again, Next, and for time to perform backup, we'll just say 6 p.m. Click Next. For rsync server, type in the IP address. For server type, choose rsync over SSH. For port, we'll use 22. For path on server, we'll just create a new folder called c colon backslash rsync backups. The username will be rsync BUI, which we created earlier in the previous lesson. Click Register with Server. Type the password for rsync BUI in the secure shell or SSH window and enter. A green tick means that the registration was successful. Next, click Test Connection and OK. Now we need to select what we want to back up. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll just pick a small folder containing the rsync server program. Then click Next, and for the job name, we'll call it Test RSync Backup. Finish. Now go to the Jobs tab and select the job we just created. And then click Run and Run again. All green ticks means that your first Backup Assist RSync client backup job has completed successfully. So, it's that simple. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on how to set up a Backup Assist R-Sync client, and in our final lesson, we'll be discussing the process of seeding your R-Sync server. Bye for now.